Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we are uh, here with a new interview question that is what is subsequent MI? So before uh, discussing this question, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and if you find it useful, please do share it with your friends also. So today's question is what is subsequent MI and what is a guideline for that in ICD-10 CM? Okay, so subsequent MI, subsequent MI, before discussing this, you have to know what is the duration of MI, okay. So the duration of MI is 4 weeks, okay. So first the patient is coming to the hospital with myocardial infraction, that is he is getting first a heart attack. Okay, so he is coming to the hospital. So first we will see whether it is an ST elevated MI or it is a non-ST elevated MI. And we will be coding it. So after the first heart attack, okay, if the patient is getting the second heart attack within 4 weeks after the first heart attack, if the patient is getting the second heart attack within 4 weeks, then it is called as subsequent MI. We should code it as I-22. Okay. So, if it is happening within 4 weeks of the first attack only, then it is considered as subsequent MI. What will happen if he is getting the second heart attack after 4 weeks? After 4 weeks, it should be considered as new MI. That is, whether it is ST or non-ST, you have to code. And second code, you have to code for old myocardial infraction. So, in the description, I will add up the guideline and an example. So, you can go through it. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you find it useful, please do comment and share it with your friends. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.